Hola familia! Welcome back to my channel. Today marks the start of something pretty exciting. I can promise you that the thumbnail that you saw, that the title that you saw was not clickbait. This is actually happening. Due to request, I am bringing out a new program for you ladies. So tiny, powering through, and we have been here. Guys, sorry, this one probably doesn't apply to you because I'm guessing you don't want to sculpt an hourglass physique. However, this does follow on from my 30 day challenge. So for those of you who have started my 30 day challenge, shout out to all 117,000 of you. Yes, I am in total disbelief. I never ever thought that would be the case. Like, I'm pretty proud. Pretty is the biggest understatement ever. I am so proud of each and every one of you and I hope that this is gonna be a really nice follow on from the little bit of background. For those of you who don't know, I had a pretty serious injury around six months ago now, so I haven't been able to film as many real-time workouts for you. And you guys have been requesting like, where's your real-time workouts gone? We really miss them and that's what this is all about. What does the program involve? It is totally free. It is across 10 days and there's gonna be six real-time workouts at 30 minutes. Each. Now, if you wanna go straight into starting today's workout, of course you can just skip forward to this point right here, but I just wanna give you guys a little bit of information before you get started. So, we're gonna have six different workouts. We're gonna be working the different parts of the body that are required to help create an illusion of an hourglass physique. So we're gonna be working into the hip, booty, and a little bit of the hamstring muscles because they act as a shelf for the booty. We're gonna be working into the waist, and I'll go into more detail about that when we actually train the waist and we're gonna be working into the shoulders and a little bit of back. So arm, back, shoulders, abs, glutes, to be honest, we're gonna be working at all. Now, this is where the interesting part kicks in. Nutrition. Nutrition obviously plays a massive, massive role when it comes to getting results in your body, in your mind, and the way you feel is so much deeper than just how you look. Here is an important step that I want you guys to follow. You need to subscribe to my website, to my mailing list, to be emailed an exclusive two meals don't know why I did that, but two meals every single week. So you need to subscribe to my website, it's so easy. All you gotta do is visit www.leanwithlily.com, pop in your email address and then you're subscribed and I'm gonna send you two meals every week across the next two weeks. Other than that, I think we're ready to get started. Welcome to the Lean With Lily family. Please do give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and let's go get some results. Love you guys, it's time to get sweaty. Okay ladies, so entering our first workout. This one is focusing on the hips, the booty, and a little bit of hamstring. So I need you to grab a resistance band, I need you to grab a set of dumbbells. If you don't have a set of dumbbells, don't worry, just grab water bottles, anything like that. There are three circuits that are eight minutes each. Circuit one is gonna be the same as circuit three, and that sandwiches a different circuit in the middle. We have a three a minute warm up, a three minute cool down, and we're gonna stop talking. Feet a little bit wider than shoulder distance apart, and we're just gonna start off with an overhead squat, coming up, thrusting at the top to squeeze the butt muscles and tilt that pelvis. Taking the body weight back through the heels or the midfoot, and just concentrating on range with this. This is the warm up, so we're trying to get as deep as we physically can. So if you can go deeper than me, Amazing, and we're slow and controlled. Pulling that core in at the top. Good work, guys. Amazing. Just slow and controlled. This is just the warm up, three minutes only. Let's get that heart rate gradually raising, but more importantly, we're focusing on the legs and the booty today. 10 seconds left. Good work. Core nice and tight. Five seconds. Two, one, Woo. Okay, so we're going for skaters next. We're going to take the body weight onto your right leg, and from there, you're going to take the left leg back, and then bring it forward to meet the other knee. So taking it back and forward. And the further back you can go, the better with this one. You want to micro bend in that other leg. Good. And if anyone wants to, you can lift those arms up in front as well. 
try not to lose your balance with this one. It's a lot harder than it looks. And we're warming up the outside of the leg here into the glute med, the outer booty. Changing legs for me, guys. Micro bend, reaching back. You can tell this is my injured knee, but I'm not gonna give up. Good work, guys. Just 10 seconds left. Really reaching back, keeping that weight through the outer glute. One, woo, amazing. Okay, next one, same starting position, but this time we're gonna come out into a curtsy. Try not to put the weight through that outer leg. If you can, you're just hovering it. And back again. Really trying to work that outer butt muscle. Good. Concentrating on form, core tight, slight bend in that standing leg. One more. And back. Okay, we're changing sides. Reaching across and back. So if anyone like me has an injury, what you can do is take your whole weight back into that curtsy. Everyone else, just hover the leg. 10 seconds left, guys, you're killing it. This feels crazy, this is my first leg workout back with you guys since my injury six months ago. Woo, okay, that is the warm up complete. You should be feeling nice and supple. We're gonna go in on the main section. Take your resistance band and place it around your feet, just below your baby toes. We're gonna to be going 45 seconds on, 15 seconds recovery on each of the eight exercises. We're coming into a half squat. We're gonna push out against the resistance of that band, walking to the side, okay? Really pushing out with this one. You should be able to fit about four side steps if you're on a mat. Good, and we're working the outer booty here. Now this is something that I actually put on my Instagram stories the other day. By popping the band around your feet, you're longering, you're longering, you're lengthening the lever, which is making it a lot, lot harder, okay? So around the feet, it's much harder than around the knees. If you've got both, amazing. Keep pushing, sinking low into that squat, keeping the knees wide. One, woo! Okay, so you're now gonna move that band to around your knees, just above your knees, and you're also gonna grab one of your weights, water bottle, whatever it is that you've got, and take it into your chest, okay? We're gonna sink low into a squat, and we're gonna hold, okay? Keeping the knees nice and wide, so pushing out against the resistance of the band. Just holding for now, it is gonna get harder, okay? Keeping the weight back through the heels, pull those stomach muscles in, really good work. When we get to halfway, we're gonna start some push-outs. <laughs> Keep breathing, keep focusing. Okay, pushing out. So pushing out against that band, keeping the upper body nice and still. The chest is proud and open. Looking at me, guys, come on, you can do it. Chest open, breathing, really pushing against that band. You've got 10 seconds left. This is exercise number two of eight. You can do it a little bit lower on the squat. Two, one, woo! Okay, you're gonna come down onto the mat now. You're gonna keep the weight, okay? Keep the band on. We're now gonna come down into a bridge. So making sure you're not arching through the back, you're flattening. We're peeling our way up into a bridge and we're gonna to hold to start off with. The core is tight. The legs are pushing out against the band and you're holding, okay? From here, you're gonna dig the heels in, lift the toes up and you're gonna do mini pulsations for 10. Nine, breathe, eight, five, four, three, two, now push out against the band. Nine, eight, come on, really squeeze those butt muscles and really, really push out against that band. Feel that resistance, up again. Nine, eight, seven, squeeze the butt. Five, rib cage soft. Three, two, and one, push out, let's go. All the way to the end. One, woo, okay, we're gonna come straight up into standing now. The band stays on again, guys, okay? Keeping the weight, you're gonna go shoulder distance apart into a half squat, okay? From there, the time has started. You're gonna take the right leg out or left leg out and back, it'll be left if you're doing mirror image. Keeping that half squat, 
breathing. So you should be feeling this on the outer butt. If you're feeling it on your thigh, take the body weight back and continue. Good work. Really pushing out against that band, guys. We're changing side in three, two, one. Change legs, let's go. As I said, this is my weaker side, guys. So you'll notice the difference, but no excuses for you. Trying to keep that squat nice and low. Come on, you can do it. I want you sweaty by the end of this workout. Two, one, woo! 15 seconds recovery, you're back into those crab walks, okay? So taking the band around the feet. Good work, guys. You can do it in notifications through that I do not want, okay? One, let's go. Mini squat, pushing out against the resistance of that band, feeling that outer booty. Breathing, come on ladies, you can do it. Really pushing out, keep those knees wide. Good work, a little bit lower if you can. Come on, we're over halfway now. Really good work, come on, you can do it. No giving up now. Knees wide, oh yes, we're nearly there. Two, one, woo! Okay, the band now comes above the knees and it's gonna stay there for the rest of this circuit, okay? If you can grab a weight, we're going into squat hold. Incredible, guys. Two, one, down we come. Nice and low, okay? Weight through the heels, resistance out against the band. This is the point where your legs are probably gonna say no. I don't wanna do any more. If that's the case, come up, shake them out, go back in again, but no giving up, okay? Guys, I have an ACL rupture at the moment, so you can imagine the burn I'm going through. I'm refusing to give up. Come on, we can do it. Okay, 15 seconds, you're gonna push out against that band. 10 seconds left. So nearly there. Five, four, three, two, woo! One, amazing, you're gonna come down onto the mat now, and you're gonna grab both weights if you can, okay? They're both gonna go onto your pelvis. We're gonna dig the heels in and we're gonna lift that pelvis up. Good, make sure the weights don't slip for me, okay? We're just gonna hold, we're gonna squeeze the butt muscles, we're gonna pull the core in tight and we're gonna pump up, okay? If the weights are too much, of course you can load them off. Just make sure you're focusing on the glutes, okay? And just take a second to look at my rib cage. I'm not up here like so. It's nice and tight. Okay, pushing out. Nine, eight, seven. Two, one, push up. Good, really working those booty muscles. Five, four, three, two. Now pushing out for 10. We're nearly there, come on. Last three, two, woo, one, well done. Straight up. And we're going for that half squat into the leg extension, okay? Weight in nice and tight. Again, getting rid of the weight if you have to, or if you want to, okay? Half squat, let's go. Pushing out to the side and back. So the key to this is trying to keep your body nice and low, okay? If you're up here, you're working a little bit, but nowhere near as much, because we're trying to focus on this outer booty, okay? This outer booty muscle, that glute need. That glue meal is burning. Good, five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Straight change, okay, nice and low. We've got 15 seconds, we're just over. Good work. Amazing, guys. Under 10 seconds left now. We've nearly completed circuit one. Then we're going on to hamstrings and glutes. One, woo! Yes, guys! That is circuit one complete. Shake your legs out, going straight into circuit two. Okay guys, stand away for this one. You are not gonna need it, but you are gonna need your weights, okay? This circuit is focusing, hi Teddy, is focusing on hamstrings, the back of the legs and the glutes. Don't forget your hamstrings act as a shelf for your glutes, okay? Let's get going. 
The timer has started. First exercise is a single leg deadlift. We're coming as low as we can, keeping the back really nice and straight, <sighs> squeezing those butt muscles at the top. Careful, baby. <laughs> and we've got the full minute to actually, sorry, baby, not even 45 seconds. Careful, Teddy. <sighs> Good, taking that weight through the one leg. The other leg is just there to hover to help with a little bit of stability, okay? <sighs> keeping that core nice and tight throughout, keeping the back straight. Good work, you're gonna hear a buzzer, ignore it. Ignore that beat, guys. We still have 15 seconds left. If you're a relatively new, or relatively new, I should say, to your fitness journey, you can stop now, of course. Otherwise, keep going for the last five seconds. This is a test of balance as well. One. Okay, and again, resting that foot right by the heel, okay? Letting the front leg do the work. Now you notice I've gone stiff leg, so I've kept that front leg relatively straight, but if you want to bend it a little bit for your deadlifts, absolutely fine. Good work. Keeping going, guys. Teddy, what are you licking there? Oh my gosh, puppy life, guys. For those of you who haven't met, met Ted, can't get my words out today. This is little Teddy. He is a six month toy poodle and he has changed my life, haven't you baby? Good, five seconds left. Core nice and tight. Okay, you can stop now if you want to. Everyone else you're going for those 15 seconds or 10 seconds left now. Good work. Should be feeling this at the back of the leg. One. Woo. Okay, we're going straight into the next exercise. We're coming down, excuse me, Teddy. And you're gonna place one weight, excuse me, Teddy, <laughs> on your pelvis. The heels are digging in, and the feet are away from the body. Ted, careful, baby. The feet are away, away from the body, okay? You should be feeling this in the back of the thigh, the hamstrings. All right, hold it there. Hold it there. Hold, hold, hold. Good work. Now take the weight off, arms down by the side of your body, heels ticking in, you're gonna walk the feet in for four, and out for four, <laughs> three, four, one, two, keep going, ignore that timer, one, two, three, four, careful Teddy, two, three, four, so sorry about this guy, at least you're getting some entertainment, two, three, keep pushing, one, two, now hold. Hold out as far as you can. Hold, hold, hold. I'm gonna hold Teddy as well because he is being a pain. So the legs are out as far as they can go. Hold, hold, hold. Really feel those hamstrings. Can you balance, baby? Can you balance? And if you can, ladies, bring the arms up. And we're gonna mini pulsate there. Up, 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 up. Come on, let's feel that burn all the way to the end. Up, up. You can do it. Up. Up all the way. Ted, behave, mister. Behave. Good work, ladies. You're so nearly there. <sighs> Have the arms down by the side of the body if you need them. Good work. Two, one. Woo! Well done. Okay, we're going to go straight in. Be careful. To set number two. Okay, so I managed to get rid of Teddy with the bones. We're going to go straight into round two of that same circuit. I want you to grab your weights, okay? Bring them up and we're gonna be going for the single leg deadlift again. Just to recap, you should be feeling this in the hamstring, the back of the thigh. All right, let's get going, guys. So all the way down, we're gonna be doing this time 30 seconds on each leg, because we're mixing up this round of the circuit. Make it a little bit harder. I love you guys too. <laughs> Good work. Just 10 seconds left on this leg. Chest proud and open, core tight. And don't forget to use breathing control as well. Good, just five seconds left. Three, two, and changing sides, one. Good work. So try not to fall forward through the arms. The chest stays strong, it stays open. And we should be feeling this in the hammies. Back of the thighs. Barely any weight is on that bent leg. It's all going through that front leg, okay? Good, just 10 seconds left. We can do it. 
three, two, one. Woo! Okay, we're gonna come straight down onto the mat now, okay? From here, we're gonna be going with single leg bridges. Coming all the way down. Get yourselves ready. Okay, so we're gonna peel our way up into a bridge. We're gonna shift our body weight onto one side, hover the other leg. Okay, and we're pumping up, let's go. Single leg bridges are possibly, in my opinion, one of the hardest hamstring exercises. And if you're not feeling it in the hamstring, the back of the thigh, move the foot a little bit further away and dig the heel in instead, okay? We're going a full 45 seconds on each leg of this, so pace yourself. If you're really struggling, just hover this foot down and keep the weight through this side, okay? You can do it. Come on, let's burn those hammies. Two, one, woo! Okay, we're gonna change onto the other side. Hold in a bridge if you can in between. Get ready, the foot slightly away. Dig the heel in if you know you need to, okay? It's all about your body, this one. Two, one, let's go. And what I mean by that is everyone's anatomy is different, right? So we feel different muscles working depending on our anatomical makeup. Wow, I cannot get my work done. Oh my gosh, Teddy's going crazy. I think one of my friends might be at the door. But I'm gonna keep going all the way through this 45 seconds. We can do it guys, we've just got one circuit left after this. Come on, let's really burn that hamstring. So nearly there now. Breathe in control. Wow, I'm sweating. All the way. Two, one, woo! 15 seconds recovery guys. Enjoy it. Breathe, we're going back into that first circuit, so straight up. Okay, so it's the last circuit, guys. I want you to pop that band around the feet again. We're repeating circuit one. Okay, let's go. Crab walk into the side. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds recovery. And the key to this is not letting those knees buckle in, keeping them wide, even though the band is around the feet, okay? If you can, sink your body a little bit lower. Sink that butt a little bit lower. Work those outer glutes. Teddy, I gave you a bone, you better stay there, baby. <laughs> He's looking at me like, come on, mommy, I just wanna play. <laughs> 15 seconds. You have to let me know in the comments below. Is Teddy cute or is Teddy annoying? Bear in mind if you call my dog annoying, I'm just joking. <laughs> 10 seconds left. Five seconds, I should say. Two, one. Woo! Okay, moving the band now above the knees, okay? Grabbing that weight, we're going into the squat hold, coming into the chest. Guys, I wish you could see him. He's behind the camera just watching me. Okay, nice and low, holding the squat, keeping the knees wide. Is he gonna come in frame? Are you baby or are you gonna be good? Okay, 45 seconds, that's all, here he is. Teddy. Teddy baby. <laughs> Are you saying hi to everyone? Good, three seconds left. Okay, now we're gonna push out. We can do it guys, come on. All the way. Under 20 seconds. Coming into that home straight. Coming into the last 10, nine, eight, seven, keep pushing, six, five, chest open, three, two, one, Woo, down on the mat, okay? I want you to grab both weights this time. The last two exercises are gonna be in lying, okay? Place the weights onto the pelvis. Dig the heels in and come up for me, okay? So the feet aren't really far away from the body this time. They're in relatively nice and tight. And we're gonna pump up the 10, nine, eight. Really pulling that core in. Four, three, two, and one. Push out. Keeping the pelvis nice and high while you do this, okay? Really working those butt muscles. Last three, two, keep the knees wide, pump up again. Core tight, rib cage down. We can do it, guys. Come on, all the way. All the way. Two, one. 
two, one. Now just hold. Hold at the top for me for 15 seconds. I'm being really cruel, I'm not giving you a break. You can do it, 15 seconds, that's all. Come down if you need to. One, woo, hello. Okay, take the weights away guys. This time you're gonna come onto your toes. You're gonna peel your way up into a bridge. Where is he? And you're gonna hold at the top, okay? From here, arms up, you're gonna drop one hip down and back up again. Drop one hip down and up. So really keeping the resistance against the band at all times. And if you're not feeling this all that much, said baby, you need to get yourselves a stronger band, honestly. If you have a strong band, you're really gonna feel the burn with this one. Good work. Squeezing those butt muscles, keeping that rib cage down. Two, one, woo! Okay, straight up. The band is around the feet for this first exercise, remember? And this time, we're actually gonna add the weight in as well, okay? So grab a hold of your weight, 45 seconds. Okay, crab walks, let's go. Nice and low into that squat. You've only got four minutes left of exercise, so really push for me. Come lower into that squat if you can. Come on, let's work. Work, work, work. Good. Amazing, guys, don't give up. Chest open, working hard for me. Breathe it out, oh yeah. Breathe it out. 15 seconds left, that's all. Good work. 10 seconds, five, nearly there, two, one, okay, bang comes above the knee now, okay, or knees, holding that weight in nice and tight, going in five seconds, really low squat, core tight, down we come, holding, holding, keeping the weight back through the heels, Keeping the knees nice and wide, okay? 45 seconds, focus, concentrate. We can do it, guys, we can so do it, okay? You've got just over 20 seconds left. The legs should be shaking a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna push out. Really working against that band. And you should be feeling this here, outer booty, okay? Nice and low, just under 10 seconds. Come on, really push. Two, one, Woo! down again into the bridge, okay? We've got a full minute now in the bridge and then we've got a surprise at the end for the last exercise. Those of you who know me probably know that this surprise won't be very nice, okay? Up on the toes, holding, Squeezing, pumping up for 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, high on those toes, 2, 1, pumping out, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, drop the weights if you have to, just don't give up for me, 3, 2, 1, now single leg hip drops, 1, 2, we're only doing 6, 3, hi hey baby, 4, 2 to go, 5, Six, pump up for 10, nine, hello, eight, seven, six, keep that core tight, four, three, two, one, pump out, all the way, no break, 15 seconds. We can do it. Last exercise is gonna be a jump squat, and we're gonna go straight into it. Two, one, no excuses, guys. Straight up into standing. Come on, nice and fast for me. We're gonna jump the feet out and in, okay? So please excuse, I'm quite slow with this exercise. It's just, <laughs> keep going. It is because, be careful baby, it is because I've got a knee injury, okay? All the way through. I don't wanna hurt you baby. 20 seconds left. <laughs> Get a boy. 15 seconds guys, sinking really low. 10 seconds, deep squat. Five seconds, come on, you can do it. 
three, two, for the 15 seconds recovery, we're holding in a squat. Holding, holding, holding. Holding, Teddy, stay up, up, hold, up, up. Last five, four, three, two, Okay, take the band off for me. I just want to make sure that you're stretching out the key muscles now, okay? You're going to straighten out the right leg, or left leg, I should say. You're going to reach the foot. Hamstring stretch. Good work. Try and soften that chest down towards the knee. And just breathe. Teddy. Hi, baby. He's like, no, you just pushed me away. Okay, we're gonna change sides now, guys. Oh, wow, my knee is feeling it after that. Incredible work, guys. Okay, reaching down, chest soft. So that is your first one of the Hourglass series. I certainly know I am nowhere near as fit as I used to be during the 30 day challenge, but you know what? I don't mind, this is part of my journey back to fitness after injury. And I just want to embrace it. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy that journey with me. Whatever your goal is, we're in it together. Okay, glutes. So we're going to lie down now. We're going to hook one foot over the opposite knee. And we're going to hug in nice and tight. To increase the stretch, what you can do is push that knee away with the arm, okay? Pulling in nice and tight. Even tighter still if you can. Breathe it out. Your glutes may well be feeling a little bit tight. And changing over. So hugging behind the back of the thigh. And if you want to, pushing away that opposite knee with the hand. Pulling in nice and tight, guys. Five seconds left here. Wow, I'm sweaty. <laughs> you know when your upper lip is like, hello. You know what it is guys, I couldn't put the air con on because it interferes with the sound. Woohoo! So that is one workout done. Lower body. Next session we're going to be working on the waist, okay? So we're going to be working into the abs and also the shoulders and arms, okay? A tiny little bit of back, but mainly shoulders and arms, but all be explained in the next session. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're as sweaty as me. Please, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please don't forget Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, guys. I love you. I'm so proud of you. I hope you're enjoying it. Okay, see you very soon for another one. Bye.